Welcome in this third part, we continue. So in the end, act.php, we're gonna start our session. So session start, and we're gonna say if is set of dollar underscore get id if it's is set, we're gonna say dollar underscore session of the ID is equal to dollar underscore get of the ID like so in the send dot php we're gonna require on our connection to the database and we're gonna start a session so session start like so and we're gonna create our post variable, it's gonna be dollar underscore post. We're gonna secure it with strip tags and HTML entities. Like so, and we're gonna start our query. So query is gonna be equal to connect query. And we're gonna insert into messages table we're gonna insert the user ID and the user message. The values going to be our session ID and our post variable like so. So in here it's user message, not messages. And if we refresh the page and we're gonna put our ID variable, it's gonna be equal to one, which means that the first user is logged in. And I'm gonna say hello. If we refresh the page, we've got our hello message with the user ID one. If I'm logged in with the second user, and I'm gonna say hi we refresh the database and we've got user ID equals to 2 and the hi message so that's it for this third part I'll see you in the fourth part welcome to this fourth part we continue so in the jQuery section we're gonna create a new function 